Imagine two other artists, huge at that time, maybe like a couple years prior, the game and 50 Cent. Oh my God. Two, there, another another two artists I, I just like, they both like the antics, the gimmicks, you know, they both like beefs. They yeah. Are, you know, so. The potential of these two artists in a versus. Do you yeah. think a top Gucci oh, and Jeezy? Yes. No doubt about it because that beef is another 20 year plus beef, you know? And I believe they have settled it, but it wasn't like that public. Like they'll say like, oh, we're, we're cool with one another, but they're not, they're not taking it into like the public eye. You know, they, they don't have to make it a big deal because they're yeah. not where they're at from like back in the day as big artists, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. I remember when the game first came out with uh, the documentary, mm -hmm. right? Uh, 50 Cent, he he put him onto G-Unit, and I remember 50 Cent pretty much saying that he gave pretty much a lot of his songs yeah. to the game to like really help him out in his debut for yeah. him to blow up. Yeah, um, I don't know how many songs, but I do know This Is How We Do It, Hate It or Love It. Those two tracks were supposed to be on Massacre. Mm. So The remix is on Massacre, too. Hey, do I love it? Yeah, the remix. It's the remix? a G-Unit remix. Ah, wow. Yeah. It's on Massacre. Well, yeah, because the game is, was signed still with G-Unit at yeah. that time. But yeah, I heard those two tracks was definitely supposed to be on the Massacre, but the game was having a hard time writing hooks. So the game was supposed to come out around the same time as 50 Cent, around 03. But game just couldn't get any buzz with his music because his hooks suck. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Dre... Was trying to sign the game since, you know, trying to bring back the West Coast sounds. Yeah. Because 50 Cent's dominated in New York. New York was dominated at that time. So, Dr. Dre is like, I want to bring the West Coast sound back. So, he finds the game. He has great bars, but his hooks suck. So, he, he reaches out to 50 Cent. 50 Cent being the guy he is. He sees the potential in the game. He was like, all right. He gave up those two songs. And that was that was really nice of him. Because look at those songs. like like how Time, Those are timeless records. You can still play them to this yeah, day. You yeah. know? So for him to give up that, and that could have been on The Massacre. And The Massacre could have even been bigger than it was even now. So that, that just shows a lot from 50 Cent. And I was surprised to hear that too. That after all 50 did for the game in the beginning, the game was switched up on 50 like that. Yeah, so like there's a lot of like stories when it comes to the game in 50 Cent. So, you know, with with the with 50, he was very controversial. You know, he yeah. had beefs with a lot of people, a lot of artists, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh one in particular, Ja Rule. Yes, yes. Um, Fat Joe, yeah, uh, Jadakiss. Jadakiss and all that stuff. So when Jadak no, no, it was it was Jadakiss, uh, Fat Joe, Ja Rule. They dropped that song, New, New York, York, right? Yeah. And I believe the game, he was at a studio and they were talking to him about it. And, you know, he signed with 50, he signed with Dre, but he doesn't look at those guys as enemies just because, like, 50's enemies with them. He's like, yeah. but I'm cool with them, you know? Yeah. So 50, he didn't like that. Yeah, no, of course not. He didn't yeah. like that at all. So he decided to, like, you know what? Since you like them, if you want to fuck with them, that's it. Like, I'm going to drop you. Yeah. He ended up, 50 was on the radio show, too, mm -hmm. with, I think, Olivia and, like, Young Buck or Lloyd Banks, or maybe all of them. And he pretty much said, oh, game's no longer with yeah. G-Unit. Yeah, yeah. And, and the game, he had to find out. Yeah, through, through, through the radio. Yeah, through the radio. He was on Angie Martinez's radio show. Yeah. And someone called in and told him about it. Yeah, that but, caught him totally off guard. Yeah, but like you said, there's a lot of stories to it because I actually saw a, a interview of 50 talking about he was trying to squash a beef. Like you said, 50 is controversial, right? But the game is controversial as well. I guess when he first started to get the buzz from Hater or Love It, you know, he started to get a big ego. He started like feeling himself too much that he ended up um saying fuck Jay Z overseas. He said at a concert overseas and then it, it got over here. So when he said that, Jay Z was about to put the stop to his career, you know, because Jay Z had a lot of pull at that time. Mm. So fifty behind the scenes, he had to squash that beef between Jay Z and the game. He had to call Jay Z and tell him like, oh no, he didn't mean that. You know, he's sorry, this and that. So while fifty's doing that for the game. 
in public, the game is um doing that interview. Just said, "Oh no, I don't have no beef with Jada Kiss, Fat Joe. They're good dudes." Mm. So Fifty's like, he's looking at him like, "What?" He's like, flip flop. Yeah, man. he's flip flopping, yeah. and they still had to record the video to hate it or love it. Like if you go back to that video, you can tell that there's a lot of tension just by their facial expressions and um in the car scene. Fifty didn't even want to sit up front with the game. Yo, that's crazy. Fifty sits in the back yeah. seat, and the game's up front. And it's because wow. of that. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh shit. Yes. Now that you say that, and I, I'm I'm replaying the video in yeah. my mind, and I remember that. I was like, yeah. he's in the front. Wow. Yeah. There was mad tension, bro. And it, it was just the con- controversial uh, between both of them. They both had the same mindset to start beefs, but they they can't work together, you know? And the birth of 300 bars. <laughs> it was like 14, 15 minutes Minus straight. <laughs> just going straight at G, you not. I was, I, I, as a kid, I was, I was pissed. Everyone, everyone was saying G, you not. And I was like, no, you got the I got the rebound. G, you not. G, you not. Nah, fuck that. But in the back, like, I was still listening to, to the game's album. I was like, yeah, yeah. This is gonna go in, man. Go in. Oh my god! That, I think that was the first single to his second album. Yeah, second I was like, album. this shit slaps. But so those two is just yeah, to see it, to but the potential because what is it? Fifty Cent um just recently came out on an interview saying that that he do he'll, he'll do a versus with only the game like that's he he'll, he'll yeah like he'll do a versus with the game on the, under one condition mm-hmm. his songs have to be just his and not featuring 50 featuring cent. him <laughs> yeah yeah but going going back a little bit like when it comes to these two and their uh past beef at the time it could have been very equal to the whole oh. Tupac and Biggie yeah, situation because yeah, it was West it was Coast, that, East Coast. Exactly. Yeah. So everyone was starting to think like, "Yo, this is this is reminiscent to what happened back with Pac and Big." Like, we don't we don't want it to get that big where someone ends up dying over some rap bullshit. Yeah, but this that had the potential. Yeah, to even, get to that point. Actually, even though I mentioned three hundred bars before he dropped three hundred bars, they ended up reconcealing the beef because it did get to a point where it was gonna be murder beef. Yeah. Um fifty cent was at Hot Ninety Seven, um, doing an interview with Funk Flex, and then the game heard him on, on the radio, ended up pulling up because he was in New York, he pulled up to Hot Ninety Seven. They ended up shooting at each other. I, I believe Fifty Cent left through the back, but his entourage still left through the front. So there was a shootout between 50's entourage and the game's entourage. Yeah, and yeah. I believe one of game's people's got shot in the leg. So it could have been murder beef. And then they ended up reconcealing it, I believe, on Biggie's birthday or Biggie when he passed away mm. in Harlem. And they, they made up, but their facial expression, again, you could tell that oh, yeah. they didn't mean yeah. nothing. So, and then after that, that's when 300 bars came out. And it could have got ugly, you know? Like yeah. you said, West Coast, East Coast, East West Coast. Coast, man. I believe this beef has like over I don't know hundreds of diss tracks because G Unit had a, a G Unit on um, volume series, G Unit radio volume series, and they were just dro- dropping mixtape after mixtape, and then the game was doing the same thing, mixtape after mixtape. So yeah, I'm glad nothing got too big. There might have been some killing. I, I'm not sure. I I didn't dig deep. To, to see if anybody died. No, nah, I think at the end of the day, you know, everyone everyone was straight. You know, there was just a lot of chit chat and going back and forth. Yeah. But eventually, you know, you 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 grow up and you just tend to forget about that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So now, fast forward to present day, you know, fifty is what like forty five. The yes. game he just turned. I think he's actually turning forty. You know. Two grown ass men, you know, yes. all that rap bullshit, yeah, yeah. beef is is it's all said and done. It's all in the past. So yes. now, since Jeezy and Gucci can do it, why can't Fifty and, and the game, game do it? Because exactly. like, if those two never beef, you know, imagine what they've could have been. Yeah, what they've could have done together yeah. Yeah, yeah. in the industry. Because with how we do it, hate it or love it. Yeah, like we said, West Side Story, West Side Story. Oh my God, that beat. Yeah. That be his fucking ridiculous. all all timeless records and like those two, it was like the perfect combination. Mm-hmm. You you can't miss. You can't go yeah. wrong with those two. Yeah, and and that's why um um G G Unit was needing a West Coast artist. So Fifty he he took that 
as like, all right, he took as a sign. Dr. Dre needs help with exactly. this artist. All right, let me take him on and put him with my group because exactly. that's going to give us the West Coast sound. And he was, I don't know if it's just 50s, like his perspective, how he's trying to put it out to the public. But the way it looks like 50 was being a really genuine dude, you know, mm-hmm. for someone's career, like to help him out in the start, like to give him two of your singles that are like big. Like I know at the time he didn't know if it was going to be big or not because these yeah. are unreleased records. But it, it's just crazy how it turned out. But I'm glad they're able to see their differences. You know, time heals all. That is very true. <laughs> That's what they time say. Heals all. <laughs> time heals all. So yeah, just to see Fifty to to mention this because Fifty is the petty king. You know. Yeah. If anything, <laughs> it, I thought it would have been like the game that would have said something first. Yeah. And then Fifty can react. Nah, I don't want to do it. I'm yeah. better. Yeah. Or you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is very like strong potential uh, matchup between the two. Yeah, because if and Fifty Cent wants to do it, then it's a guarantee. You know, for sure. I don't see Game turning down that. You know, it needs to happen soon. Yes. Like with the whole Gucci and Jeezy versus that was that was huge. Yeah. The Game and Fifty. That's gonna be. Over the top. Yeah, out of this You world. thought that shit was legendary? This potential matchup between these two heavyweight artists? Yeah. That's going to be phenomenal, man. The culture needs it. Yeah. And and I see a trend so far with the verses. Like, it seems like the tension and the beef draws in more, more audience, you of know? Of course. Because so far, the best verses have, have had tension in them. Yeah. Because I don't know if you remember Sean Garrett versus The Dream. Nah, that's the only one that I really didn't even pay attention to. Yeah, like nah. I said, I, I didn't really watch any of them. Yeah. But but I, I, the IG post on the day after, like there was a there was a moment where Sean Garrett was just spazzing on the dream, you know, and he was just venting, going off because he was tipsy, drunk on one. The drinking that Syrah, <laughs> yeah, drink spice Syrah. <laughs> so yeah, but it it drew in a lot of a lot of audience, you know. That's crazy. I and didn't even hear about the, it. The Monica versus Brandy that had some tension. In yeah, it. yeah. So so far that that's playing a part into these these matchups. You know how they they're thinking about who who should match up with who. So it just has to happen now. <laughs> you just gotta keep it going, keep yeah. it going with the tension. Yeah, because that's what draws viewers. Well, as long as there's you know um the the squashing. At oh the yeah, end, yeah, the yeah. Beginning like yeah, build up tension, but at the end let's let's do peace. Let, let's make that, let's normalize peace, yeah, you know? Yeah, for sure. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping it does happen. You know, Swiss and and Timberland so far, they're they're acting like the the, bo- the boxing matches. Well, I should say UFC, because UFC is better at getting the real matchups. Yeah, yeah, this, for sure. This was kind of like Tyson versus Roy, you mm. know? So uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully the potential of this battle. Yeah. And who do you think will win? 50. 50 Cent? 50. Because, like, grow, growing up, I listened to, like, I'm a few G, artists. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I went to you, Nick, man. I was, I, was, I was loyal to 50. Like, yeah, I was still listening to the game because it's like, hey, he still makes good music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't even front. I can't yeah, be biased. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's 50 for me. Yes. Yeah, I was listening to Get Rich or Die Try on my CD player. Yes. I was listening to The Masker on my CD player. I was on my front doorsteps listening to that on my way to elementary school yeah i'm listening to the massacre 50 cent was my guy so i'm gonna have to roll 50 i think 50 got bigger records i think he got yeah. more records more hit records than, than the game but i'm not gonna it's not gonna be like a landslide of course it's, no, it's definitely gonna be very tight because the game could definitely hold his own and he's proved it throughout his career he didn't need 50 he didn't need dre are you sure yeah in the beginning, yeah, he needed he needed that cosign. No, but in, in able has, to, he, has he been as big as he the the first album documentary? Yeah, he he's been that big. Yeah, since? I don't Do- know. Doctor's Advocate that was a good album. You have um LAX that was a good album. You have no, no, Rhett. No, 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 no. But, but he was he was no, but he was still relevant though. Like no, he, I just, no, I'm not saying that he hasn't been relevant. But why has he been relevant? Because his mouth. I'm talking about his music. All right, it's how, not. How it's the, it wasn't. Sounded. It wasn't. It wasn't as as big of an impact as Fifty, but like he was consistent. No, no, yeah, he's consistent. He was consistent with I, his music. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean on Fifty too, just because I 
I grew up on 52. Yeah. My first ever CD bought, I went to um, Strawberry, the store, to buy a, a tape. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> at the time, that's that's what was popular. And they're like, oh, no, we only got in CD. I'm like, really? Mm. <laughs> so I couldn't buy it because I was too young. But I ended up having my mom. I talked my mom into it. She, she, <laughs> bought, she bought it for me. So that was my first CD purchase, mm. you know, so... 50 Cent will always be one of my top five artists just because it was from my generation, what I grew up on. Facts. So I, I'm leaning on 52, but the storyline of this matchup is going gonna, gonna to be another entertaining one, you know? So I, I'm hoping it, it happens, you know? It definitely has to happen since they both pretty much agreed on it. Wait, has the game said anything though? I think he has. I could have swore I liked the tweet. The thing is, I like tweets... But I don't read them. <laughs> I like tweets as like bookmarks, so I can go back <laughs> and read, read it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he he low key said that he will take it mm. since the fit since Fifty Cent said he will. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, because the other the other beneficial thing about verses is their streaming numbers go up the next day. Yeah, everyone's going looking for that album. Yeah, They'll start playing yeah. them. Yup. Yeah, so the the game and Fifty, they they're both not really using music as their priority income right now. So any like plus they can get especially right now with no touring like i'm sure the game will say yes no hesitation at all facts so man yo you'll see us when we react to it i can't wait <laughs> game 50 cent versus coming very soon <laughs> facts hopefully Hopefully it's not like T.I. versus Jeezy and then we gotta scrap this video. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fucking the game versus Young Buck. <laughs> hey, man, you even got 20? Man, he don't even got five. 